14 huge Coronation Street spoilers for next week. Welcome back, Coronation Street fans. Brace yourselves for another week of gripping drama and unexpected twists. Get ready to dive into the chaos as we unveil 14 jaw-dropping spoilers for next week's episodes. From love triangles to shocking betrayals, it's all happening on the cobbled streets of Weatherfield. So, grab your cuppa, and let's jump right in. Next week on Coronation Street, prepare for Roy's worst nightmare to come true as he finds himself behind bars. Meanwhile, the spotlight shifts back to Daniel as police attention intensifies in the Lauren case. And if that's not enough, Adam's new romantic interest is finally revealed, sending shockwaves through the street. But wait, there's more. Gary finds himself in a desperate race against time as he attempts to erase incriminating camera footage. With secrets exposed and lives hanging in the balance, next week's episodes are not to be missed. Here's a full guide to 14 big moments coming up. 1. Roy is denied bail, as Roy faces the daunting reality of appearing in court charged with Lauren's murder. Tensions soar, as the CPS barrister vehemently argues for his remand, citing his history of past crimes, including assaulting Gary and abducting Wayne. Despite Dee Dee's impassioned plea for Roy's release on bail, the judge's verdict is clear and decisive. Roy is to be held in custody until the trial. Once behind bars, Roy's defiance manifests in his refusal of breakfast and rejection of any opportunity to leave his cell. Amidst the cold, unforgiving walls of the prison, Roy's silent protest speaks volumes, hinting at the inner turmoil and despair he grapples with as he navigates the harrowing journey ahead. 2. Bobby gives a new statement. Bobby chats to D.S. Swain again and makes out that he saw an intruder in Lauren's flat, who was wearing a balaclava and a dark coat with a fur hood. Bobby claims that he suddenly remembered the incident, but he appears to be making things up to get Roy out of trouble. Cassie, Evelyn and Nina realise that a coat fitting the description ended up in the charity shop and they follow the clues to find out the owner. When D.S. Swain later orders Daniel back down to the station for further questioning, has Bobby unknowingly accused him? 3. Nikki returns. Daniel blames Max for his latest police interview, but Abby informs Max that Bobby was responsible for shifting attention back in Daniel's direction. Max confronts Bobby for not keeping him updated with developments in their amateur investigation. When an online article refers to Lauren's work as an escort before her disappearance, Daniel gets the idea to call Nikki. Nikki is now an outreach worker who helps girls on the streets, so Daniel believes that she could offer some new clues. As Daniel meets up with Nikki and her friend Diana, Max and Bobby watch on. Max recognises Nikki as a sex worker and decides to take pictures, still pursuing his vendetta against Daniel. 4. Gary tries to protect Sarah. Gary is mortified over Sarah making a drunken pass at him, especially as footage of the incident will be on Maria's phone. When Sarah apologises to Gary, he lets her know about Maria's secret camera in the living room at the flat. Sarah panics that Maria will uncover her betrayal, but Gary promises to delete the footage before she has a chance to watch it. Will he get to it in time? 5. Adam meets someone new as Adam steps into the elegant ambience of the Chariot Square Hotel. Anticipation crackles in the air as he meets his new client, the charming Rebecca, portrayed by the talented Gemma Myrna, known for her role in Hollyoaks. Sparks fly as Adam and Rebecca engage in playful banter, their chemistry palpable as they share a bottle of wine amidst the sophisticated setting. However, Adam's romantic rendezvous takes an unexpected turn when a call from Alia interrupts their blissful moment, reminding him of his impending meeting. Faced with a choice between professional obligations and matters of the heart, Adam opts to prioritise his budding romance, dismissing the call and choosing to immerse himself fully in the enchanting company of Rebecca. 6. Alia impresses newcomer Rich. Alia leads the meeting in Adam's absence. As Alia chats to Rich from the Fabian's firm, she impresses him with her knowledge. Alia is flattered when Rich suggests that she has the potential to become a partner in his firm. Adam's antics continue when he bursts into the office mid-snog with Rebecca, just as Alia and Rich are wrapping up the meeting. 7. Alia accepts a job offer. Alia makes the pivotal decision to accept Rich's job offer. She wastes no time in sealing the deal as she meets him for lunch at the bistro. Their conversation buzzes with excitement as they discuss their plans for the future, solidifying their professional partnership over a meal. Meanwhile, Adam's world is rocked when he receives a jolting email from his biggest client, revealing their intention to transfer their work to Fabian's. The harsh reality sets in as Adam realises that Alia, now aligned with Rich, has already begun poaching his clients, leaving him to grapple with the repercussions of her decision on his business. 8. Adam's crush is revealed. Michael informs Alia that Adam is telling people she has already accepted her job back. 
Alia confronts Adam for being so presumptuous, telling him that he can stick his job. As Alia storms off, it's clear that Adam is smitten with her. Will he voice his feelings? 9. Stu prepares to say goodbye to Eliza saddened over Eliza's imminent departure. Stu shows his granddaughter that he's had her name tattooed on his arm. Eliza points out that the Zed is the wrong way around. Eliza also starts to say her goodbyes to Sam and Hope, telling them how much she'll miss them. Stu's thoughts turn back to his relationship and how his recent actions have let Yasmin down. He tells her that he wants to make their relationship work, but will she be interested? 10. Simon suffers a setback. Simon's entrepreneurial dreams hit a roadblock as Leanne, initially enthusiastic about investing in his food delivery app, suddenly gets cold feet. Expressing her hesitation, Leanne insists on conducting thorough research before committing any funds to the venture. Simon, feeling the weight of uncertainty looming over his plans, grapples with the fear of losing her crucial support at a crucial juncture in his entrepreneurial journey. As Simon navigates the delicate balance between pursuing his passion and maintaining Leanne's trust, the uncertainty of her decision leaves him on edge, questioning the future of his ambitious project. With doubts lingering and the prospect of losing Leanne's backing looming large, Simon faces the daunting challenge of regaining her confidence and salvaging his aspirations for his food delivery app. 11. Sam agrees to look into the Institute. When takings at the bistro start to improve, Leanne naively credits the reality coding techniques that Rowan has been teaching her. Sam makes a new friend at the bistro when a couple arrives with their daughter Anwen, who joins the schoolboy for a game of chess. Leanne boldly suggests that her reality coding is improving things for Sam too. Sam is sceptical, but politely offers to read up about the Institute to find out more. 12. Dylan and Sean move out. Dylan and Sean embark on a new chapter of independence as they bid farewell to Eileen's house and settle into their own flat. With Kirk lending a helping hand, they navigate the process of moving their belongings, symbolising the transition to a fresh start in their new space. As Mary pays a thoughtful visit to Sean's new home, she observes a lack of furniture and makes note of the need for additional essentials. Despite the sparsity, Mary extends a warm gesture by presenting Sean with a candle, a small yet meaningful housewarming gift, to add a touch of coziness and warmth to their new abode. With Mary's thoughtful gesture and the support of friends like Kirk, Sean and Dylan begin to carve out their own corner of comfort and belonging in their new flat. 13. Dee Dee considers her future with Joel. Joel opens up to Dee Dee about the unexpected contact from his estranged wife, Emily. Expressing her desire for him to meet their daughter Maeve, Dee Dee finds herself caught in a whirlwind of conflicting emotions. While the prospect of Joel reconnecting with his family tugs at her heartstrings, Dee Dee grapples with the complexities of her own feelings towards him. Turning to Michael for guidance, Dee Dee confides in him about her lingering affection for Joel, seeking his counsel on the matter. However, Michael, ever the voice of reason, urges Dee Dee to exercise caution, reminding her of Joel's past deceitful actions. With Michael's words of warning echoing in her mind, Dee Dee is faced with a dilemma, to follow her heart or heed the advice of a trusted friend, as she navigates the uncertain terrain of love and trust. 14. Dee Dee is targeted with death threats. Dee Dee's world is turned upside down when she receives a chilling and ominous call while in the law office, sending shivers down her spine. Despite her inner turmoil, she puts on a brave face in front of Adam, attempting to mask her fear and maintain a facade of composure amidst the escalating tension. However, the sinister threats continue to haunt Dee Dee, as she receives yet another menacing call, further intensifying her sense of unease and vulnerability. Turning to Joel for assistance with Roy's bail application, Dee Dee's distress becomes apparent as Joel discovers the disturbing emails detailing death threats targeted at her. As the gravity of the situation sinks in, Joel grows increasingly concerned for Dee Dee's safety, fearing that her involvement in Roy's case has made her a dangerous target. Together, they must confront the looming threat and navigate the treacherous waters of danger and deceit. Thanks for watching to our exclusive sneak peek into the upcoming drama on Coronation Street. With 14 jaw-dropping spoilers unveiled, it's clear that next week's episodes are not to be missed. From shocking revelations to heart-pounding suspense, the cobbled streets of Weatherfield are brimming with excitement. If you enjoyed these tantalizing spoilers, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update on your favorite soap opera. And if you're as intrigued as we are by the twists and turns to come, be sure to leave a comment down below sharing your thoughts and predictions. Until next time, Coronation Street fans, stay tuned and stay sensational.
Yeah.